Good morning, Mercy Betsy. Again, so wonderful, right to meet. Yeah, tell me. So, what hmm. is today's special? Today's special? Yes. Oh, Betsy, you are excited. <laughs> Do you want to know? Yeah. So, so, so far, how was the journey for you? Um, it was uh, exciting. Yeah. We learned a lot of new things. Yeah. Information. Yeah. Yes. So it was so wonderful, right? So today, I think we we are almost going to finish this yeah. episode, right? Uh, so I'm so so uh, happy, but at the same time, so sad also to finish. May God willing, we will do in a grand way yet another episode. Okay. So. Uh, we saw the origin, the birth of Jesus, everything else, right? Each and every activity, every um, the property or the things that is used in the birth of Jesus Christ. We saw everything else with a connection with our life, right? There, the final part, Jesus born is born, and there were certain people who were waiting for his birth because they were told by the Holy Spirit that they will not face death until they see the Lord's coming. Wow. It's beautiful, right? Yes. It's really exciting because they were, they were very um, holy people fearing for God, but they are not religious because wow. the Jews were very against Jesus. But they, there is a certain group of people, even among the Jews, they were waiting for the salvation and birth of the Messiah and birth of the Christ. Bible says that Luke 2, 25 And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. And this man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel. And the Holy Spirit was upon him. And it had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. Wow, that's so exciting. So exciting, right? Because um, recently when I went for a marriage, um, not marriage, I think for a for your birthday function, there is an uncle who came and approached me. He asked, why Jews are not accepting Christ? Oh. That question um, really, you know, triggered me a lot to study. But when I was meditating on this, I was came to a revelation that religion is not going to help any person in this earth. Religion is man-made. Religiously, if you are doing anything else, that is not going to be help for your salvation of your soul. But Bible records, even among the Jews, there were people who were waiting for the spiritual redemption, the salvation, the birth of Christ, birth of the Son of God, birth of Jesus Christ. And they were inspired by the Holy Spirit that they will not die until they see the birth of Jesus Christ, and it seemed happen, and it fulfilled. But when when the when the, when Mary and Joseph brought child Jesus to the temple for consecration, Simeon was filled with overjoy, seeing the Messiah, because the Holy Spirit was telling, "He is the Messiah. He is the Christ. He is the Son of God." And you you are seeing the salvation of Israel. So Simeon was overjoyed, and there was another person whose name was Anna. Anna. So she. A old mother, but she's a very prayerful person, very holy person, very godly person. So you, 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 can you find a differentiation between a godly and religious person? Uh, <coughs> Religion, they cling on to the custom, tradition without yes. meanings, right? Or they simply follow that. But godly is something you connect with your divine, with your soul. And here, Simeon and Anna, they were waiting for the salvation of Israel. And that is the birth of the Savior, Jesus Christ. And they were taking the child and they were with overjoy, singing, dancing, praising God, uttering prophecy. And that was a joy. And God has chosen those people for his salvation too. So now I got an answer for that question. The old man who asked me why Jews have not accepted Christ. Because they were religious people and they were blinded. They were blinded. They couldn't see Jesus as a Messiah, but there were in among the Jews itself, there were some spiritual people. They were inspired by the Holy Spirit. They were looking for salvation. They were saved and accepted Christ as a savior. What is wonderful? Yeah. My dear friends, if you are religious, you might be blindfolded or you might be blinded 
come out of the blind to see the Savior born for you, the King born for you, the Christ born for you. He is your God. He is your Savior. And if you see Him, and if you see Him and accept Him, you will see His salvation working in His life. Not only for this earth, for the earth to come in heaven. And God bless you.